Welcome everybody, it is Andrew from IDB and I am so excited to have you all here with us today. We have a lot to cover, a ton of hard drives in all different shapes, sizes, and functionality, depending on what exactly it is that you're looking for. And if you've got a newer machine, almost every single drive in our line of all but maybe one is, util is using USB Type-C or Thunderbolt 3, which is absolutely great. And we've got drives literally in anything that you could want, whether you're looking for something kind of super slim, just like a traditional hard drive, but a slim, maybe you're looking for kind of a desktop drive, looking for other functionality, hub type stuff, storage, all of that in one. Maybe on the other hand, you wanna build your own option where you could have dual competing SSDs in a RAID formation of your choosing, or maybe you just want something that's super slim and crazy, crazy fast. Others out there, they just want the tiniest and one of the most powerful like the Samsung T5. Super lightweight and tiny, but still plenty of storage options. Or if you just want rugged, you want a crazy rugged drive that you can take with you out in the field on the go and never have to worry about your data. Those are just a few of the drives that we got. We're gonna take a look at all of them. And like I said, they pretty much all use USB Type-C. So if you've got a MacBook, MacBook Pro, iMac, whatever it might be, using USB Type-C, you are good to go. First up on our list is this little guy from Western Digital. This is the My Passbook SSD. It is obviously a solid state drive and it uses USB Type-C. It does have a little bit of an inclination to get fingerprints on that kind of silvery part. It's not actually metal, but plastic, and it does show fingerprints quite easily, but that's really only kind of a minor inconvenience. Other than that, it is nice, small, portable, lightweight, and uses USB Type-C. If you don't have a USB Type-C computer though, you don't have to worry because not only do they include the USB-C cable, they include an adapter as well. I really like this because you can use the USB adapter with the USB-C cable, and then if you ever upgrade to a USB-C computer, just lose the adapter. That's it, you don't have to worry about keeping track of two cables the entire time. While Western Digital may be one of the most popular ones out there, let's take a look at something a little bit more obscure, this time from OWC. Other World Computing has a lot of Mac peripherals and hardware upgrades, including SSDs and memory options depending on which machine you've got. This is one of their Envoy drives, which you can actually take your own SSD and put right in here, or you can buy them pre-spec'd out with the solid state drive of your choice. This version also happens to be USB 3.0, but they have different ones available, including the Envoy Pro EX, which uses Thunderbolt 3 and just has a black finish on the outside, but of course uses Thunderbolt 3 and the USB-C spec. It also comes with a handy little pouch, which makes it a whole lot easier to actually put into your bag and not damage anything else you've got going on. It would be irresponsible in this roundup to not include the famously popular Samsung T5 SSDs. These things are tiny, powerful, and they also look really cool. I love the exterior of this thing. The blue is pretty, pretty awesome. This little guy is using VNAND flash memory and USB 3.1 Gen 2, which means you can get transfer speeds of up to 540 megabytes per second. It is not the fastest drive on our list by any means, but is one of the most popular and coolest looking that we've been able to find. If you would prefer to go down the build your own route, Sataki is out with a great aluminum USB Type-C enclosure. Basically, you can take any drive you want, whether it's an SSD or a slim HDD, and just throw it in this case. The whole enclosure is pretty slim, so it only works with the thinnest of drives, any of those newer ones that are out there, and it uses USB-C, which is kind of a little bit difficult to find in external enclosures. We've been able to find a lot more lately, but it had been a little bit difficult to find, but it's really easy to install. Take out the four screws on the bottom, put your drive in and slide it back into place. This way you can upgrade or install your own drives at any time. If you're looking at hard drives, one of the inevitable names that will show up is Seagate. They're one of the few companies that make a ton of drives and we have their Backup Plus Ultra Slim. Now, while this is a great drive and is super, super slim, it is not USB Type-C and they don't have a USB-C version of this out quite yet, but it is still pretty fast for its size. It's not anything crazy fast though, it still is just a 7mm hard drive inside of a 9.6mm enclosure. So really, really thin, you're going to get more storage options here. This tiny little thing is actually 2 terabytes of storage in such a tiny compact size. So it's going to be a lot more cost effective, but you're not going to get those blazing fast speeds you'd see from a solid state or a Thunderbolt 3 drive. One of the other pretty awesome drives in our lineup that we found is this G Drive Mobile SSD R series. 
G Drive, if you were not aware, is actually part of Western Digital. It is more of their premium and Mac specific side. It has a pretty awesome enclosure here with that bright blue underneath that grill on the front and some nice hefty screws on the end, just kind of give it a really tough look. There's a little status light on one end and a USB-C port on the other. In the box are two cables, a standard USB-C cable and a USB-A cable. They are nice and short and they're actually branded, so they actually make them instead of just picking ones up off the shelf. It has some crazy write speeds, 560 megabytes per second, what we saw with the actual Samsung T5, but this is also extremely durable. The R series is their rugged line with IP67 dust and water resistant and three meters of drop test. Not to mention that it is actually crush proof. It can withstand 1,000 pounds before this would succumb to any pressure smashing it down. It comes in several different sizes, but I've got here the 500 gig. Now, if you're looking to build something yourself, but you're looking for even more speed or more configurability options than the Sataki option, check out this one from Oyen Digital. Inside, you can put two different SSDs or hard drives for that matter, and you can configure them in several different RAID configurations, whether you're looking for them to back one another up for redundancy's sake, or you want them just to compound and give you a much bigger drive and faster write speeds. The back of this unit has everything you need, including DC power in, which you can use or just go off of the USB, USB Gen 2 port there on the left using USB-C, and a power port or a power toggle, so you can actually turn this off completely if you need to do so. Inside, you can pretty much put any two, two and a half inch drives that you want, hard drives or SSDs. I prefer solid states. I really like these crucial MX300s. I've got quite a few of these and a bunch of different drives that I have, including this Taki one, and I've got two more of them here inside of the Oyen Digital case. So these are really solid, really reliable, and they give you quite a bit of storage. I put them in here and I compound them so it adds up together to give me extra storage, and since it writes to both drives at the same time, it can improve the read and write speeds considerably. Speaking of those RAID options, we have the Glyph Atom here. We looked at this before, and this is still by far one of my favorite portable drives. There are actually two solid state drives in here, two flash memory drives in here, and it is crazy fast. Inside, there are actually those two different drives, which is put into a RAID 0 configuration. They come in one terabyte and two terabyte configurations, and because of that RAID configuration, it actually has transfer speeds up to 860 megabytes per second. That is definitely faster than the T5. Now, sometimes you just want something that's a little bit flashy. You want something that looks really great and it's going to match your Mac hardware. And that's where Lossier drives can really come into play. They look phenomenal. They're kind of a pro line. They're not only rugged, but they also have some that just look super, super beautiful. And this Porsche design super slim drive is pretty much that. It's got some really nice kind of chamfered edges, USB-C compatibility for all the MacBooks and MacBook Pros that are out there, and just looks great at the same time as offering those solid, solid speeds. As far as durability sake, one of my favorite goes to is the tough drives from CalDigit. Just a little touch here, but they actually include a little carrying case. It's really handy because I can put a label into here and match them up so I know which drive is which. Really great way to catalog these and keep them safe over time. Inside the little box, there's also a spot to put your couple cables so you don't ever forget them. It comes with both USB-C and USB-A, so you don't have to worry about compatibility on older or newer machines. The drive inside is all made out of aluminum with this nice silicone rubbery enclosure. One in the straight, which is handy because you can actually prop it up on its end. I really, really do like that. And to help with the water and dust resistance, there's a little flap that can just cover up the USB-C port when it's not in use. These ridges also act as a really nice heatsink, so we don't have to worry about fans or anything else and drive this side. Then again, now the other ones have had fans that we needed to worry about, so it also could be a little bit for aesthetic reasons at the same time. Now, if you'd prefer Lossier instead, these guys, while they do look like flotation devices, these have been one of my long-standing go-tos. I absolutely love them, and they have tons of configurations between standard ones, SSDs, or ones in Thunderbolt 3, USB-C, whatever you're looking for they've got options. These are Thunderbolt 2 devices that I'm just using an, an adapter for because honestly, I've got a few of them. I've been using them for video production for a while on the go. I've got four of them lying around right now, at least four of them that I, that I found right currently on my desk. So I've definitely been a fan. I've been using them for a long time and will continue to use them. They definitely look a little bit pokey, I guess, and like a life raft, but they're definitely solid. There's a standard metal drive inside, all aluminum, with this really robust protection on the outside to protect from any drops that you may have while out in the field. Speaking of Lassier again though, I have their too big Thunderbolt 3 option, which has been one of my 
favorites that I've used with my new MacBook Pro. I absolutely love this beast on my desk. You've got an accessible IO stuff right on front, including USB, SD card, and compact flash. And then you've got Thunderbolt on the back, USB 3.1, USB-C, and DisplayPort out. So you can plug it right into your display monitor, plug your Mac into this, and you've got tons of IO, expandability, plug in extra drives, so you can daisy chain everything plug in your monitor, all good to go through this one thing, which houses two crazy fast Seagate Iron Wolf Pro drives, because if you remember, they are part of that Seagate family, just the more pro, professional, expensive family with more performance and flashy looks than the others. This thing is available in crazy configurability options, up to 20 terabytes in size, so definitely plenty of room to work with. If you do ever run out though, don't worry because the drives are swappable. You can simply pull them out, replace them with new ones, and put them right back in. Now, while this is pretty darn fast, it is still only 440 megabytes per second. That's really good for a hard drive, but it's still below those VNAND speeds that we saw with the T5. But it's hard drive versus solid state. It's still pretty decent performance, plus you get all the other IO and expandability options of a Thunderbolt 3 dock at the same time. Another option if you're really digging that kind of combo device of hard drive storage with swappable drives and the expandability of a Thunderbolt dock you could check out the AV Pro 2 from CalDigit. Instead of having the dual drives of the Lassier 2 Big Thunderbolt 3, there is only one, but it is easily swappable. And you still have extra IO options on the back, including two USB ports. So you can plug in other drives right into this, it makes moving things around pretty darn simple. And it works over USB-C, or you can use standard USB Micro Slim, which works just as well, it just depends on the computer you've got running. It does have a little bit of a fan, which some of these other drives definitely do when you get to the size of these desktop drives that are running hard drives. While it is slightly more portable than the too big from Lassier, it's still definitely meant to be plugged in. It still requires that external DC power and plugged in at all times, but it does work vertically as well as horizontally, so that could really mesh with your setup. Now, since we've been talking about desktop drives and Thunderbolt 3 drives, I think it's time to take a look at the fastest by far drive that we have in our lineup which is once again from OWC and that is the Thunderblade V4. This thing is absolutely insanely fast and it looks pretty dope too. This is all black matte exterior, a little status light there on the front and those ridges that go through the body obviously those are partially there as a way to dissipate heat so there's no fans needed. It does require external power and there are two dual Thunderbolt 3 ports on there, which means you can plug one into your Mac or a computer and one into something else and daisy chain it, whether it's a monitor or something else. While it does use flash memory and it is relatively small, unfortunately it still uses that power adapter. It is such a bummer that you need a power adapter with it, you can't just take it on the go as easily, but it still is pretty storable and it actually comes with a portable enclosure so you can take it with you without it getting damaged in any way. Of course the enclosure is also pretty hefty. Now, I said this was our fastest drive in our lineup today, so how fast is it? When you compare it to the others, we're seeing a lot of others, 560, 640, somewhere around that area. Well, this thing actually can get 2,800 megabytes per second. That is absolutely insane. When I was testing thing, everything was just flying through. By far, the fastest and most expensive drive in the lineup. While there are many other drives out there, we really tried to focus on the best ones that had a whole different variety of options depending on what you're looking for. So I hope everyone found something that they could kind of get into on this list. I want to hear which one is your favorite or if there's something not in our list that we didn't cover, make sure you share that as well down in the comments. You can find links for all of these drives down in the description. And until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.